Hello guys and welcome to this kind of source filmmaker tutorial uh, and today I will be showing you uh, how to download and use uh, source filmmaker uh, so I had a little problem with this myself I didn't know where to download the, the source filmmaker and I didn't know how to use it uh, but today I will show you how to download it and a little bit of how you can make your own uh, little movie. So the Source Filmmaker is available on Steam. Uh, it is free. So you want to go to the store, to the search bar, and search for Source Filmmaker. Doesn't appear down under here, but don't worry, it does exist. So, the Source Filmmaker will appear here, um, it looks like it, it it only exists on Windows, yeah. Um, so, on my computer it stands, uh, it says, use now, but on your computer it will probably say install or download or something. So just go ahead and click that button, it is 100% free. So when you're do done uh, downloading, uh, you can find the game at your library, but not, uh, on the, not on the games. You actually want to go to software. So just hold your mouse over library and go to software. And click launch. Uh, so when this little window appear, you want to choose uh, the launch source filmmaker and click launch. This loading screens take a little while on my computer. Here we go. So this window will appear. Uh, when you start your uh, filmmaker, and you can name uh, your movie whatever you want, your project whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it TF2 YouTube Tutorial, and you can save it wherever you want. Uh, and when you're done with that, go ahead and click Create. So now you can see that uh, it will appear uh, a shot one down under here, and that's your movie so far, but it's all black. Uh, you can see that if you press play button, it will play your movie, and it will be all black, and that's because we have nothing uh, done yet. So. The first thing we want to do is uh, to load a map, a map where you can do your animations and recording. So you can click here and choose load map, or you can click Control and L, or right click screen uh, your movie and choose load map. So it will be thousands of map here. And you can choose whatever you want. Uh, you can also search for the map you want here on the filter. So I'm going to use uh, the Thunder Mountain right now. So the map loading takes a little while. Just be patient. So when it's done, done uh, loading, the mind map looks like this. And uh, to look around, you want to left click and hold on your map, 
and drag your mouse uh, to look around. Uh, use W, A, S and D, just like in the game, to move around. So you can move around through walls and through the ground and whatever you want. So find a nice place uh, to shot your first record. I'm going to do it uh, right uh, outside of this spawn, like this. So to make a new camera, uh, right now just using the work camera, as you can see here. Uh, let's make a new camera, click on the arrow on the right uh, side and go to change scene camera and click new camera. So that will actually be named camera 1. Uh, so let's also click this plus up here and choose create animation set for existing element. And go ahead and choose the camera. Uh, so now if you want to work with animations and don't want to move the camera you can just switch back to uh, the work camera by clicking uh, on the camera one. So now we are in work camera mode and you will see the camera one um, right here. What it, it is going to shot, uh, shoot and the lines. So to uh, shoot our first video we are going to play uh, as a class and to do that you want uh, to click this setting mark and click record game or you can also just click the record button here. So click this button and this setting window will uh, come up so for now, let's just have it where it, where, where it is. Um, but uh, let's choose first person camera down under. So go ahead and click record. And we spawn as a scout. So now it's actually shooting. We can also change class to pyro if you want. You will be able to switch weapon as you like, just like in a game. So let's just go out and make a little clip. Just doing some random things. So when you're done, go ahead and click escape. Now you are done with the shot. So now you can play a video and see what we done. So there we see the pyro coming out of the spawn. And he does exactly what we did. So when we re uh, when we recorded Pyro, we also made a new camera, as you can see here behind the Pyro, uh, and that is called this one. Uh, I I don't understand what that says, but if you click here, you will see that camera. So drag it a little back and we can see it all from the beginning in the first person view. That, yeah. So we can also uh, record uh, as many times as we like to. So if you just press the record button again uh, and click record. So now let's change the class. Uh, 
and go ahead and build uh, a sentry or something. And the pyro will soon come out there. Yeah, it's a little lag, but he's there. So go ahead and click escape. And now we can see the video with camera one. There the engineer comes. And there the pyro comes. So that was all I had to show you today. And when I learn more about this program, I will learn you more about this program. Please like and uh, leave a comment. And see you next time.